I'm about to run a very loaded sentence by you, so get ready. There is a girl on TikTok who is pretending to be a dog, and she is being paid six figures per month. And I know that's a lot. And you might hear me say that and think, oh my god, Duncan's gonna make fun of this girl. But actually, I'm going to try not to. If you've watched my Lele Pons videos, then you recognize this son of a bitch. Because it's very easy to make fun of Lele Pons, I brought out this poster in order to challenge myself to not mock her or make fun of her and actually try to be helpful. So if you're here to watch me make fun of someone, click away. That's not what this is going to be. All right, let's start. This is Jenna Phillips, and like I've said, she is famous for pretending to be a dog on TikTok. Now, you might be wondering what that means if you've never heard of this before. So I've prepared a few videos for us to watch together and be introduced to what exactly is going on here. All right, this is a video of her jumping into a lake to fetch a ball, like a dog. This is a video of her being scolded for sleeping on the couch, you know, like a dog. And this is a video of her doing some tricks so she can earn a treat, like a dog. It's a little weird in that it's not something that you see every day. But other than it being a little shocking at first, honestly, it's not as weird as it could be. A lot of people take things to the extreme, and a girl pretending to be a dog is honestly pretty tame for the internet. But like I mentioned, she's become an easy target for a lot of commentary channels or roasting channels to make fun of. And they did. Imagine going to the store to buy your local groceries and you see Hannah Baker from 13 Reasons Why reincarnated into pretending to be a dog, drinking water out of bowl like a dog. I went to school with her. Honestly, imagine actually going to school with a girl like this, and then five, six, seven years down the line, you see a girl that you went to school with on TikTok pretending to be a dog, and she's like mad famous because of it. Like, I can guarantee you there's so many guys that went to school with this girl, they're probably hitting her up right now, like, bro, give me a free OnlyFans, or can we hang out sometime, or I want to take her out for a walk. But you know how the system works. People make fun of her, and then all their viewers go check out her stuff, and then she just gets more famous. And she just blew up even more. And now, I need to address the elephant in the room. These dog videos are very sexual. There's a lot of suggestive poses, a lot of whimpering, a lot of things around the mouth. It, it just has a very NSFW vibe to it all. Jenna has even admitted in interviews that she's playing into the fetish behind it in order to please more people. And she's also making a killing through these people supporting her OnlyFans. Jenna is making a lot of money off of these puppy videos. In fact, like I mentioned, she is making six figures. So, a lot of money. <laughs> so, this is the part where other channels might say, oh, why, is she, why is she making so much money being crazy on the internet? Like... This is insane, this is wrong, why doesn't she get a real job, blah 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 blah. And it might seem easy to make fun of her, but like how can we? She is making six figures a month from like crawling on the ground for 30 seconds. Like she's kind of winning the game, you know what I mean? How can anyone make a commentary video critiquing this girl when what she's doing is working for her? Sure, it may look weird to us, but clearly there's a big enough audience for her that she's able to make a living off of this content. You know, enough people to be making her rich. Am I supposed to clown on her for that? Because I can't. If I could make a hundred K from pretending to be a dog, I'd think about it. At the end of the day, the internet is a very vast platform. And there's a lot of stuff here. If you see something that is weird to you and you don't like it, 
you can probably just leave it alone and you won't see it again after that day. And the people who do enjoy that stuff can go watch it. There's no need to make fun of that stuff or the people that enjoy that stuff when it is probably easier and does more good to just move on with your day. I don't think we should be making fun of Jenna. Honestly, it's impressive that she's able to make a living off of pretending to be a dog. In its own weird way, I'm jealous. Not enough to put on a collar and crawl around, but I'm still very impressed. Her making six figures is insane. Like, not many people are going to be able to do that in their whole lives. I support her for finding her own little community and making a living off of it. So if there's a moral from all of this, a positive lesson that we can take from this, don't make fun of the people you think are weird. You can let them live their own lives without letting it bother your own. Okay, thank you for watching my video. It really does mean a lot to me. This is the part where I fade away into the background. You know, just waiting for you to subscribe, I guess. Um, please do it.